Hi guys, welcome to the second installment in my series on pointers in C++. Uh, in this video, I will show you the relationship between arrays and pointers. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's say that we have uh, an integer array. Okay and we'll just call it vowels and we will uh, implicitly declare the size of it by using uh, an initialization list. Okay, So let's say that I have this three, ele three element array uh, with the values 4, 7, and 11. Okay? We can see the uh, starting elements memory address by doing cout. Okay? So cout vowels. Okay. Now if I run this, I'm going to see a hexadecimal address, Okay, not 4. Why? Because vowels, the name of the array, returns the memory address of the first element of the array, Okay, not 4. If I wanted to uh, return the, first, the value of the first element of the array, then I'd have to use array no notation to do that. Okay, So vowels zero, right? The first element of the vowels array. Okay, so by doing that, we can see uh, the value in the first element. Okay, so now you know why um, with any uh, data type other than uh, characters being stored in an array, uh, why we have to display the contents element by element. We can't just do a C out, right? Because vowels, the name of the array, in this case, uh, the name of the array just returns the memory address. Okay. Okay. So you may have an idea of where this is going to go. So check this out, right? Since vowels returns a memory address, I can use the uh, indirection operator to uh, return the uh, value uh, of the first element of the array. So I could do this, okay, just like I could with a pointer. Okay. We're going to see that it also returns the uh, value in the first element of the array. Okay? So we can use the indirection operator with array names. Okay? In addition, I can, since vowels, since the name of the, an array returns the memory address of the first location of the element of the array, since it returns a memory address, I can assign that memory address to a pointer. Okay, so let's say I do val pointer. I'll assign the memory address of the array to my pointer. And we can see that that compiles just fine. Okay, now here's the interesting part. Now I can use array notation with my pointer. Okay, just like it was in any other array. So uh, pointer. This is going to return uh, the second element of the array, the second value in the array, which is going to be seven. Okay. There we go. Pretty cool, right? So we can use array notation uh, with a pointer. Okay. Well, as it turns out, we can also use pointers uh, in expressions. Okay. So uh, pointers in expressions. So what if I did, uh, what is val pointer plus one? What does that mean? Well, what it means in this case is um, the address in val pointer, right, and its value pointer, uh, plus one times the size of an int. Okay, so if we're adding one to val pointer because val pointer is a pointer an integer pointer, then what this means is is that we're taking whatever the address is stored in here and we're adding one times the size of its data type. Okay, So this means we can do some interesting things. Right? So I can do something like this. I can use my indirection operator and dereference the pointer uh, with an expression. Okay, So let's see what this gives us. Um, so I'm going to show us the contents of um, 
of this vows array, right? This is going to return four, as we've seen before previously. This is going to return the next, the value in this next element, and this will return the value in the last element. Okay. So this is basically this uh, first expression is just like this. It's similar to this, it's as if we had written that. So let's let's compile this and take a look. Okay. There's the values, all of the values in the array, 4, 7, 11. Okay. So maybe you can see where we're going with this. Um, you'll notice it starts at 0, then it iterates to 1, then it iterates to 2. Does that remind you of anything else that we may have seen before with arrays? How about loops? Okay. Uh, so I want to show you um, what will happen if uh, it's, it's important that we have these parentheses here around the expression, right? So that way this math is done before we dereference the result of the expression, right? If I did something like this, let's, at the end, if I forgot to put those parentheses in there, then instead of dereferencing a memory address, let's say I did this, okay? What's going to happen is that I'm going to dereference the val pointer address here, right? So that's going to return four, okay? And then I'm going to add two to it. So this is going to give me a total of six, okay? Uh, the previous example with parentheses uh, gives me 11. Why? Because it is taking uh, the memory address stored in val pointer and adding two times the size of an integer, right? which is the data type of the array, uh, and adding that to the memory location, so which moves us to the very last element of the array. Okay, so the memory address where 11 stored at is equal to the memory address stored in the val pointer plus uh, 8 bytes, right? 2 times 4 bytes for the integer. Okay, so that's why that returns 11. But this is going to give us, again, it's going to return the first value, 4, as we've seen before, uh, as we've seen, uh, as we saw before here, right? Um, as we saw before here, and it's just going to add 2 to it, so it's different. It's not the same expression. See what I'm saying? Right here? Okay. All right, so make sure that you uh, put your expression within parentheses if you want to dereference uh, one of the later elements in the array. Right. So what does this mean? Let's, let's, let's see what this, what this means. So basically, you could uh, think of it as being similar to this. This is the same thing. Okay. So as it turns out, uh, what we have on the left is what's known as pointer notation. Okay. So this is pointer notation. And uh, what we have on the right here with the brackets and the subscripts is array notation. Okay. They both work the same way. It's just that array notation um, is doing this math over here is, 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 is uh, basically performing these expressions, um, but you're not seeing it, okay? It's a little more abstract to make it easier to work with arrays, okay? Um, in 1160, you know, if we had to explain pointers to you, it would have been a lot more confusing than just jumping right in with arrays, right? So this array notation abstracts out this pointer stuff and makes it a little bit easier to work with, okay? But, um, just like we can use a loop to iterate through um, elements of the array using array notation, we can use a loop to iterate through an array using pointer notation. And let me let me show you what that would look like. Okay, so for i equals zero, i less than three, i plus plus. Okay, so let's do c out for the dereference. Okay, uh, this expression plus i. And we'll put a space in between the elements. Okay. And then afterwards, I'll put a new line. Okay, so what's going to happen is, on the first iteration, i is initialized to 0, right? So we're going to dereference val pointer plus 0, which is going to give us 4, right? That's the uh, address of the first element of the array. Second iteration, i is going to be 1, so this is, gonna be, this is going to be an expression that evaluates to uh, val pointer plus 1. So it's going to be the memory address plus 4 bytes which will move us to the second element of the array. Okay, it's going to return 7. And then finally, for the, uh, 
last iteration, i is going to be 2, which is going to add 2, right? i is going to be 2, so it's going to be 2 times the size of an integer, right? Because that's what, remember our, our math up here? Um, so it's going to add 8 to the memory location of the first element of the array, which is going to return 11, okay? So let's take a look. Okay, 4, 7, 11, just like I said, okay? All right, so um, that's everything I wanted to say about arrays and pointers, okay? So remember, there's no, um, no boundary checking uh, with arrays, right, in your, in your traditional array notation, right, the familiar array notation. Same is true in pointer notation. No boundaries checking. It's up to you to uh, make sure that you don't iterate past the end of the array or begin before, begin iterating before the beginning of the array. Okay? So um, that's everything I wanted to say on arrays and pointers. So uh, now you know how to assign an array's address to a pointer, how to access the contents of an array using um, array notation and pointer notation. And you know, now know how to apply array notation to a pointer uh, that's been assigned the memory address of an array. Okay. So um, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. Stop by my office hour. Uh, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.